I'm Thomas Cook back here at Towner Road Park in Hazlitt. Pickleball has become America's fastest growing sport and especially skyrocketed right here in Mid Michigan. More courts, more players, and more opportunities for everyone to get involved. In the early mornings, you'll find the pickleball courts here at Towner Road Park buzzing with activity. These people are here every day. They play almost every single day. Sally Hudgens is one of those people. It's crazy. I mean, and I, I know other people that are just like me. I guess we're addicts. Nice foul, nice feed. And she's not alone. It's a lot of fun. It's just addictive. Hudgens is the Lansing Area Pickleball Ambassador. Nice, Nina. A teacher and lover of the game. Wow, what a recovery. The wonderful thing about pickleball too, Thomas, is that it's social. During games, there's a lot of laughter and happiness. <laughs> teamwork, teamwork. After retiring from teaching in the Lansing School District, she started playing pickleball in Florida. And before you know it, Sally started this. This is just wonderful. It wouldn't happen like this if it wasn't for her. She began giving pickleball lessons back here at home. I'm going to feed to you. Your goal is to drop the ball and try to start making your way to the net. When I was here in Michigan, I just found that there was no real cohesiveness to how we were functioning, no instruction. So I would take what I learned there and bring it back here. As the game exploded into the nation's fastest growing sport, Lansing caught on. I would say 10 years ago we had a dozen, maybe a few more than that, pickleball players. And now I'd say we're probably closer to 15 to 1,800 players in this region. The goal is to get to the net, and once you're there, you get to play this crazy fun net game. Greater Lansing Pickleball utilizes 24 courts between Towner, Patriarch, and Delta Mills Parks. From beginner lessons on Mondays to intermediate lessons like the one Sally gives every Wednesday. You meet so many wonderful people. A lot of them are retired, but we're meeting more and more younger people who are getting into the game. You have to keep moving. Sometimes we freeze and admire the shot we just did. It's an opportunity for people to continue to learn and love the game. It's fairly easy, and if you're not playing with people that are a lot better than you, and you're playing, it's pretty social. Open play starts at 9 a.m. every day. First come, first serve for everyone to enjoy. Just fun to play and you want to just keep doing it. I, I don't know why it feels that way, but it just is. Reporting in Hazlitt, Thomas Cook, Fox 47 Sports.